Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lee. In my previous videos, I have shown you how to use Docker on your personal VPS to expose applications on the internet. But what if you don't have a personal VPS and need to expose your local services to the internet? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Cloudflare Tunnel to do this exact task. Let's get started. First of all, let me open my terminal. I'm going to run all my demo applications on a local virtual machine. I'm using MultiPass um, to create this virtual machine. The virtual machine has been running and you, as you can see here, Docker has been installed and there is nothing running at the moment. So next I'm going to open my um, browser, go to my blog and here is the blog post. Here you can find all the screenshots and commands you need to run um, on this blog post. Please use it as a reference if you, um, you get lost in a way. Next, let me open my Cloudflare dashboard. On your Cloudflare dashboard homepage, you can see this zero trust hyperlink on the left hand side. If this is your first time to log in, you'll be asked to provide your credit card number. Um, you can subscribe to the free plan just like I did here. Um, so next, let's go to Access Tunnels and we can create a new tunnel here. Let's give it a name, demo. We are going to use Docker, so click Docker. We've got a command here, copy, and let's get back to our terminal. Um, copy the command here. Before I run this command, let me create a new Docker network called tunnel. Um, and we can run it now, but um, I'll, I'm going to add detach flag and network tunnel. So to make sure this um, application or this container is running in the tunnel network. This is done. It's running. So if we go back here, we can see this is connected and the data center will be close to um, the um, host machine, which is um, my local you know, virtual machine host. And let's go next. I'm going to use Nginx as our first demo. Uh, for the subdomain, I can use Nginx. Domain is demo for fun and path will be root. And the service, um, it's uh, HTTP services and the service name is Nginx. 80 is the standard port for uh, Nginx. And there are some additional um, settings for your ingress control. So you can set um, host header, you can set connection timeout, uh, things like that. I don't need that. So I'm just going to save my tunnel. Okay, let's try to access this site. So nothing returns. If we inspect from network tab, you can see there is a uh, 503. This is expected because we haven't been running our Nginx container yet. So let's come back here and we can copy the commands from here. So normally you should see this page, but um, for some reason today I don't see this page. So that's fine. We know it's 503. So let's go to copy this command and go back to our terminal. Um, it's very simple. So I'm going to run an Nginx Alpine image container uh, with in a detached mode in the network tunnel. Um, the name of the container will be Nginx. So that will be the service name as well. Okay, so if we go back to our um, browser and refresh, we are going getting a 200 now. Right, so because um, the Cloudflare container can access the Nginx container now. All right, so the next I want to demo is um, an application running in a different um, port. So let's go back to here and hit configure, public host name, add public host name. And this time it's called Echo, same domain. Um, and the path will be root as well, service HTTP. And this time it's called echo. And 
I'm going to run this echo container um, listening at port 8, 8, 8080, 8080. So let's save host name. And then we can go to the um, um, the blog post and copy this um, command. Go back to our terminal and run it. Um, it's the same. So it will be running in a detached mode in network tunnel. And this is the uh, image. Uh, and this um, container will be listening on port 8080. All right. And next, let's go to echo.demo for fun. As you can see here, um, it's running fine. Um, it's 200 response. So basically, whenever your container is ready um, and Cloudflare can talk to it, you will get a 200 response easily, right? So what if your application is running on the local host and it's not in a container environment? Is that possible um, to have the Cloudflare proxy uh, request to those services? It is possible. Let me give you an example here and I'm going to run this Python server. Um, let's call it server.py, saved it. And this is a very simple Python server, which is listening on the local host 8080 port. Um, there are two um, paths, um, slash, which will return a hello world message slash API will return that this is a text message and that's about it. Let's run this service and we can curl localhost 8080, right? So we are going getting a hello world back and API will be, this is a test, very simple. In order for the Cloudflare container to access the application running on the host machine port 8080, we need to do that through the network gateway IP. Um, this is the Linux machine, Linux box. So uh, what we are going to use Docker network inspect and tunnel. So we can get the gateway IP here, which is one two um, one seven two one eight dot zero dot one. Um, if you don't want to inspect the network, you can also running a um, Alpine image with the um, IP route command. As you can see here, so this is our gateway IP. All right, let's get back to our Cloudflare dashboard. Here, add a host name. This time I'm going to call it local, same domain, path, HTTP. And we are going to put in the um, IP of our gateway IP here and port 8080, right? Save the host name and we can try local.devil for fun. As you can see at the root level, we're getting the hello world back. And if we use API, we are getting this is a text message back. Um, so everything is running on a public network. You've got um, SSL taken care of by the um, Cloudflare here. You don't need to create your DNS record because it's all managed by Cloudflare. This is really, really simple and a quick way to expose whatever services running on your local machine to the internet. Okay, so um, that's all I want to show you today. If you got any questions, please leave your comments down below and I will try my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.